Well, good morning and welcome to another strange day of videos of UAPs and UFOs. I, I found this picture and caught it um, from this other, other Facebook channel and I wanted to examine the top of it and see if it was a real picture. <laughs> to my conclusion, this is a real picture, not CGI. But anyways, follow this link, subscribe to my Facebook, and uh, I'll show you more spy planes and TR-3B black mantas. So when you see these triangle ships in the sky, and you see these single and triple lights pop on and off, don't be so afraid because a lot of it is governments that we know of. And so I got this picture from observing the effects of the binary system. Of course, it was from another person. But anyways, we're just going to borrow it and do a little forensic show, so stay tuned. Get a coffee, and good morning. It's Friday. No, it's Thursday. Sorry. Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. All right. God bless people. Keep watching. I'm in my forensic studio and this shot right here I'm showing you in black and white what looks like black and white is the noise filter and what the noise uh, analyzer does is sees like if there's a shadow that was produced to try to resemble this ship on the ground down there it wouldn't show up as a real object with, with the real shadow so according to this it's a real cloud or a real thing in the cloud or, you know, but look at the center of this thing, this object, this city in a cloud, right? Uh, unidentified city in a cloud. It's got a power source in the middle right there, folks. See that right there on that? It has a power source in the middle, just like the bigger ships. It's reverse technology. This breaking news that we could actually find something like this and... Many people said, what in the heck, when I put out just the clips without talking about it. But it's very disturbing that there could be something like that in my cloud that parks in front of my house like for eight hours straight. Have you ever had a cloud just park over your backyard? Not over it, but down the street. And you can see it like it's three blocks away and it stays there for five hours. Well, because I watch the sky, I have. I've had a number of experiences with strange clouds before I even believed in UFOs or UAPs. What comes down to is all this activity is a man-made or it's demonically inspired by fallen beings. It's Pali's power, spiritual wickedness, and high places. Ephesians 6 says we fight not against flesh and blood. So these entities have created themselves ships and bodies and they're doing all kinds of experiments on people from what you hear. And now they're being uncovered. So a lot of it, they're, they're in the Earth's atmosphere. They live in the center of the Earth or underground or under sea. I'm pretty convinced that they do. And I, I imagine there's some kind of demonic aliens coming in from other places in space, like the moon they're hiding out in or whatever. It's not all conspiracy. And it's actually all biblical that this would be happening. At the days of Noah, they had Rephamim, Nephiliums, or Anunnaki. Anunnaki were the Nephiliums, <clears throat> and the, and, I mean the Nephilims, and the uh, Rephamims, the, the Nephiliums were the uh, fallen angels, the Rephamims were the offspring of their experiments, and taken women, so follow, keep watching. just showing you how close this thing can show buildings from all the way up here from the sky view but what's this thing down here below this item in the cloud and it's pretty freaky looking I don't know what it is no clue 
and I, I haven't studied UFOs for 35 years. I'm just curious and I discover stuff. Curiosity and discovery. And that's what I do. So, you know, if this is real, it's mind blowing to me. And um, get another cup of coffee because it keeps going. I'm going to show details real slow. You can take snapshots and show them and say, what's this, everybody? This thing looks like it has a little Phoenician, Egyptian look to it. Um, so I'm just trying to locate what's on the bottom here. Someone has said there was some writing on it. That might be it right there. I'm not sure. But if they could post this, if they see this video, it'd be great. But, you know, they zoomed in even farther and said there's writing on it. And so I think there is writing on it. This thing looks ancient. Looks like it's been around the block a few times. It's definitely put together to stay together. I guess it's like a city on a mound. Now, I don't know if these people could go out on their terrace when they're in good atmosphere with oxygen. Or these cr creatures or beings or whatever it is. It's just, just a drone sh ship. This is not a mothership. Someone told me a mothership will cover like a whole state. So I don't know about all that, but I do know it's very interesting to do a forensic show on, which is what this tool is. And I'm using the, um, oh, what am I using? I'm using the, uh, magnification level five and, a uh, contrast by channel gives you a little bit of the 3D effect on the actual picture you get to see the depths of the shadows and stuff but that's it's like a city in a circle guys it's like the outside of the city like maybe they open it up when they're not in space and they come out and they have like a foggy day because of the cloud they made but you know no matter what this is um real or not real and if i'm being snagged oh forgive me you know my bad i didn't realize they took me and gave me cgi i don't think this is cgi folks Remember, CGI is going to be like a transparent overlay of the sky. What we talk about CGI, a blue beam. So, I don't know. You tell me. If you look right here, I'm going to go to the um, the Luminous Grantis, which is like a topical map or relief map, all right? So, you can see if it's really real. Take a look. This is what it looks like with the heat signatures and all. But... When you take this thing and turn the lights down on it and all, you can really see how real it is. So I'll just go back and forth. Keep watching. Thanks for coming. And make sure you follow if you haven't. And you'll see more evidence just like this. Have a good day, folks. It's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. You know what happened on Friday? The next day you arrive off from work. Anyways, thanks for coming.
one last thing before I end this, if you have a shot that's real clear like this, from a plane or from the ground, preferably from a plane if you got one with something similar to this, put it up. Make sure I, not I notice it or message me. Um, but if you have a smaller one, like I've showed a couple of them right there, if you have smaller ones that need to be cleared up and you know that they're going to be seen real good, fit them up. I'll, I'll filter them. You guys have, have a great weekend, all right?